Hi Thomas, it's a 1-0 win here at uh, Dumbarton tonight. Can I get your thoughts on the result and performance please? Uh, first of all, delighted with the, the three points. Um, it's, not, it's not the easiest place to come, especially the, pit, uh, the conditions at the other pitch wasn't great, it was cutting up. Uh, but the boys, we battled first of all and we, we won the battle I think and then we, we started to play some football and created more, more and more chances as the game went on. So uh, to get the breakthrough with uh, 15 and goal was, was delighting. And, uh, managing to hold on, so it's an important three points. You've scored the goal, you like, exactly enjoyed it? Aye, no, it's always, I knew, I, I kind of thought the next, the, the first goal was going to be a winner, so uh, no, it's always good to get a goal, that's 25 for Morton, so happy with that. You're saying, you the feeling that was that it was going to be the winner, if you, the first goal was the winner almost, is that you? Aye, it happens a lot getting? against them, Barton, it's, they're, they're hard to play against, and it's, it's the amount of times of, it's been 1 0 here or there uh, against them, so. It's a, it was a bit steady in the game when we done that. Connor, Connor Brennan's made two or three brilliant saves in the start of the match and kept us in it. So, uh, to, to be the team to get the, the goals uh, brilliant and to walk away three points seemed better. Thing, obviously, you're part of the defence as well. You've played three at the back tonight and had to change it when Luca went off as well. You had to be adaptable. How was the, the switch between the two? You uh, seem no, to be quite comfortable going between the two. I would, it's, well, we weren't, we weren't expecting that. Obviously, we played four the last wee while, but. Uh, we've got the personnel to play three and also the gaff felt the kind of game it was might have had more of the ball but the three the three would have been better and I think it worked but obviously the first ten minutes maybe getting used to it but it worked after that we went into the game and uh, we defended well and then obviously Luca hopefully will be alright uh, went off and went back to four which we know so um, I, th I think in the, the whole way we played well uh, with a three and a four so happy with both ways. I think that's three clean sheets in your last I think it might be. Are you, are you aware of the record you've got? And obviously, you've got uh, the best defensive record in the league. Are you aware of that? I we take we take pride in it. The gaffer works uh, every day, if not. Uh, so it, it's something we, we enjoy in the back four. It's, it's good to have that record. But uh, we're, we're now scoring goals, which is a pleasing thing. It's the forwards, Gary Orders and for me, Tiss made a difference. Uh, and players like Frank Austin that coming to the team. So hopefully now that we can we can put the ball in the back of the net and to keep a clean sheet and hopefully move up the table a wee bit more. Looking at the league table, it's looking promising. I think that's four ahead of Dunfermline, two behind Dundee United. Are you looking at the, the table yourself uh, at this point? I, you know, we, we always just try and get as many points in the, the table as we can, but one of the journalists just said that Queen's and Dunfermline play each other on, the Saturday, on Saturday, so if we can uh, nick a win away to Dunfermline and hopefully they draw, then it could be a good weekend, but we need to focus on ourselves and uh, our own performances and then see what it takes us. Excellent, Thomas. Thank you very much for your time. Well done on your goal and the win. Cheers, mate.